Hey guys, it's Rhonda with an opening video and I have Lydia's writing outfit and her writing hat and shoes um, for a review today. Guys, this is gorgeous. It's like linen. It's stunning with these gold buttons. Oh my goodness. Let's see what the full description says. Um, Lydia's writing outfit. Uh, pale blue cotton linen skirt, a separate white cotton shirt with self-attached cravat, here we go, and a gorgeous deep blue riding jacket with black trim. You can see that there. It is beautiful quality. Oh my goodness. Okay, so these are uh, snaps here. They always use snap closures, no Velcro. I can't see what I'm doing here. I'm looking through the camera. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so this is a three-piece set, and there is this beautiful sort of um, sleeveless blouse that has snap closures in back and this jacket this like midnight blue jacket with this lace trim and the black braiding uh, all around these are not working buttons because there are snap closures but they are real buttons just beautiful in this collar and the back, oh, look at this. It just swoops down like this. This is beautiful. And you can see the buttons are on the uh, sleeves as well and on the back. This is gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so then the third um, piece to this outfit is the skirt. And again, it's similar to that sage color, but um, it has more blue in it than the uh, dress that she has, her party dress. And there are snap closures as well. This is beautiful. Okay, so then the, that is the dress. And then in another um, set comes the hat, the riding hat, and the boots. The boots are uber cute and look at this I love I always have on the bottom of all the of all of a girl for all time shoes the um the lo the name and the pair for the logo and then these just slip on and they're black very supple not stiff at all and then the riding hat has elastic here and is trimmed in the same, um, it's not the exact same lace as the jacket, but it's to mimic the lace detail as well. This is more of a, a detailed scalloped uh, pattern lace, whereas the other is um, more of a flat. This is so pretty. So, um, guys, I'm going to put this on Lydia. I can't wait to see her in it, and uh, we'll, we'll see how gorgeous it looks. Okay, again, the color is so pretty on her skin, against her skin and her hair. And this outfit is like the, to me, in my opinion, it's, um, this is wrinkled due to packaging, but it's, it's the perfect uh, combination of masculine and feminine. The jacket is very masculine looking because, of course, it's, it's a writing, uh, a riding coat, a riding jacket, but the other details like the lace and the uh, blouse that's underneath give it this feminine feel. And then uh, the skirt, of course, is going to uh, be feminine. So I love the combination of colors, uh, very cool and soothing, and the, the fabric is beautiful and so are the dressmaker details. So following will be a slideshow. I'm going to try and take her outside and um, with a horse and put her hat on and everything. But if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, just as a side note, Lydia is the winner, the Play Doll winner for the UK, um, A Girl for All Time won for 2015. And they took home the win with Lydia and her collection. She won um, Play Doll of the Year.
So congratulations to A Girl for All Time. But if you're looking for a historical, if you're a historical doll collector and you're looking for um, beautiful dolls with beautiful clothing, please, I recommend A Girl for All Time. And there are... Um, they're all family um, from the Marchmont family. So you have the Tudor girl, the Victorian girl, the 1940s girl, and Lydia is the Georgian girl. So uh, there are eras to please everyone and explore. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.